Okay, so when you first get to Google Maps, it'll probably present you with a map of the place where you are, if it knows where you are. Um, and if you click this little hamburger over here, then you get a menu, and one of the things you can click on is My Maps. If you've never made a map before, then you'll just get a welcome screen. If you've got some that you've already made, then you will be shown a menu of those. But anyway, you can create a new map. And the easiest thing, I think, to do is to just type in the latitude and longitude of the place marker that you want to set. So why don't we put in the location of the Japanese earthquake. Um, there. And it drops a place marker in the ocean. That's fine. Um, so click this little plus here. And then you want to edit this. So let's call this earthquake. Yay. Um, we can also edit um, what kind of an icon it looks like. Not like that. Here. <laughs> uh, and I don't know, gee, this crisis menu is a lot of fun. You can have any, everything from, a, I don't know, an infestation of geckos to a ninja with a throwing star or something like that. But ooh, look, here's one that looks like a tsunami. Maybe that's going to work for us. Whatever, fine. Um, and now you're all set. Uh, let's add another. So here we go with that close by station that we were using for all of our other examples. Um, it drops a place mark there. And why don't we edit that and we'll call it station um, 2418. Great. Uh, we'll add another one just for fun, but I, my guess is that you've figured it out now. Um, here is a station that is far away. Uh -huh. And that's going to drop another place mark right there. We're going to add this one and we're going to call it station. 32412. Save it. Okay. Now at the end, once you've got everything there, I don't know, you might want to just zoom out and verify where these things are where you think they're supposed to be. Yep, we got an earthquake off the coast of Japan, a couple of stations. One is close by, one is not close by. At the end, you want to give your map a title and then click this share button. If you forgot to give your map a title, it's going to remind you that it wants you to do that. Let's just forget it. Uh, and you can also get a link. And if you want me to be able to see your link without having to log into Google, you can change this so that it's public with anyone who has the link. And then you can share it with Grandma, too. All right, that's all.